Hi everyone. Uh, I wanted to go back and revisit the post-production of the underwater video. Uh, I've kind of played around with this a little bit more and found kind of a better way to to basically make your GoPro underwater video not so green. So if we look at this, this is where I'm out in uh, off of Tarpon Springs and Fred Howard Park, and you can see before the camera goes in the water, white balance looks okay. The colors are like they should be. Now, let me go back though just a little bit, because as we're looking in the water, the water does have a green tint to it, you can see down there, but it's clear water, so you should be able to get good video. There's bright sunshine, but as we drop this down here, you can see that this video is just horribly green tinted so and we're going to fix that and basically the best way for us to fix this is using this thing called a lametri scope and you can see the color bands on here and we have red green and blue and our blues all the way down on the bottom our green is all the way up in the top with the red and what we want to do is bring these colors down here into the center so they're covering the same space the same uh, space on this uh, Lemaitre scope. Let's look at how we're going to go about doing that. Now to pull up the Lemaitre scope what you need to do is come into Windows and make sure that you come down here and look and make sure Lemaitre scope is turned on and then we also have Lemaitre color but I'm going to use it in the effects panel so if I, if I got my Lemaitre scope open and I want to basically turn these effects on and use the Lemaitre color. So we're going to use Lemaitre color. If you come down and you click effects and you come over here to your list of effects, you want to go into video effects. And what we're going to do is under color collect, cl correction, we have color balance that we can use, but we're also going to use Lemaitre color. And all you need to do is double click on these and these will show up over here under your effects controls. So you can see here I have Lemaitre color, I've got sharpen, I have color balance. And so I'm able to basically utilize these uh, effects inside this video. And you need to make sure that your video is selected down here in your timeline to, for these effects. Because I mean, if I like, so you can see here, I selected the audio and it shifts over here in the audio effects. So we want to make sure we have the video selected. Now what we need to do is we want to balance out this green. And so I'm going to come back over into color. I've got my Lemaitre scope. And to be quite honest with you, initially, I don't even look at the video. I just pull up the Lemaitre scope, go into Lemaitre color. And what you need to do is whenever you go into Lemaitre color, you have basic color correction, creative curves, etc. You're going to come down into curves. And under curves, you have the color curve, right? And the first thing we're looking at is the green and the green's way up here on the top. And so we are going to want to drop this green down. And so down into where we're doing into the red range so that they're sitting over the top of each other. And I want to drop this down a little bit farther, maybe bring this up and then we're going to probably adjust. Now, my blue is down here in the bottom and to be quite honest, for whatever reason, there's not a lot of blue in this video, but we're going to try to raise it up as best we can. There we go till we get it in this range here. Now my red's up pretty high, um, but it's Really, if I bring this down just a bit, and I'm just focusing on this, my results in the Lemaitre scope right now. Um, so let's see what the video looks like now. So we've removed a lot of green. So we still have some green in the picture. I mean, it's got a lot of green tint. So we're going to basically come back down into here. I think what I'm going to do is drop the green down even farther. And you can see it's uh, it's dropping it in the Lemaitre scope, but it's in, and it's also impacting 
picture. So I'm bringing the green down so it's in the blue. So now we've got it pretty close to, uh, I mean, it's, it's not perfect, but it's definitely nowhere near as green as it was. And so when you run through on this, on the Solometri scope, you can kind of see how the colors are shifting. In this case, it's, it's the water that's going by. It's, it's causing uh, the sun to refract off the water. Is less pauses. Now keep in mind, whenever you're doing this, if you start moving the camera around in the water, these color values are going to change. And I can show you here. So if we if we go from here to there, or we're actually if we go all the way back up on top, now everything looks purple because we've shifted the color. So you just need to be aware of that. Now, kind of what I want to do is we've got the uh, the color not looking too bad. I'm going to go back up into basic corrections now. And I'm in really bright light. I'm going to drop the exposure just a little bit. As you can see, when I drop this exposure, it's bringing the, the top part of the Lemaitre scope down. And if I come down here into shadows, I can either raise these shadows up, and so I would play around with it. So I'm just looking at the scope, not looking at the picture right now. And if I drop these highlights down, and then I can also bring my whites up, which brings this back. So I had a little room to play with up here in the Lumetri scope. You wouldn't want to drag this up so it came off the top, yeah, I think is really what the, the point is. But I can bring this so it's up onto the top there. I can drop my blacks down just a little bit, uh, which is going to provide me a little bit more contrast. You can see there, this is what the picture looks like now. And I'm making these edits without actually looking at the video. I'm just looking at the Lemaitre scope. So now I can increase my saturation just a little bit. And I think I'm going to go into creative where I can find vibrance. And I can crank this vibrance up just a little bit. And now when I play this, I'm, I'm feeling a lot better with this video. Now I still have green off in the distance. And I mean, I can work on that if I want it to, but I don't think I'm going to bother. And so you can see I'm pulling the camera back up to the top of the water and my Lemaitre scope, everything's shifted up. But as soon as I drop it back down, I'm going to pretty much end up back where I was at. So of course I just pulled it out of the water. Now I have blue, right? But when I put it back in the water, my blue spectrum is, is having issues. And so this is a pretty common pro problem with GoPro and GoPro knockoffs. Like in this case, it's, an, it's a GoPro knockoff that I'm using, but you can get fairly decent video. I mean, you're never going to get the same kind of results that you get with professional cameras underwater but you can you can do a fairly good job with these these little gopros and they're dirt cheap so you, should, you could be able to pick one of these up for anywhere between a like 35 to 100 dollars i think this one that i'm using here is a 35 dollar number and then i picked another one up that was a little over 50 and you can uh, get pretty good results so that's how you kind of clean up these videos and make them look a little better. We just need to clean that green up and using this Lemaitre scope makes it really pretty easy and you can play with it and get all kinds of results out of it. So, but yeah, just pull the Lemaitre scope up, try to get your colors balanced here in the middle as best you can. And that should give you the effect you're looking for. Hope you've enjoyed today's video and I look forward to seeing you next time. Uh, don't forget to choose like and subscribe and whenever we get done. And I'll post this video up on the end of this so you can watch the, the basically the whole video in full frame. I appreciate you watching. Take care and I'll see you next time.